and welcome to Let's Fly VFR. Today we're here at Adelaide International Airport and we're going to take a run around in the quite new 747 which is in the United livery. This came out in Beta 4 I believe. So this has been around a little while and uh, if you know me at all then you know I don't normally fly airliners but I thought it was uh, prudent there's been a few updates that they've made to the 747s. Uh, there's been some work done on brakes and there's been a lot of work done on jet engines and jet engine modeling since we got going. So let's get in the air, let's not waste any real time and uh, check our pedals are still working because mine like to stop, give ourselves uh, 10 degrees of flap. I'm just going to try and trim ourselves nose down a little and uh, it's pretty interesting this one um, this I didn't know you could do and that is <laughs> wander around the aircraft itself if you want to get up and move around you can certainly do that so for now let's get ourselves going anyway so let's get the power up now the aim is to get up at about 4,000 to 5,000 feet and we'll try and main maintain 250 uh, knots or thereabouts under 10,000 you are supposed to remain under 250 unless someone says otherwise this takes off so well it just rolls down and when it gets to a speed it's happy with it just lifts the nose and away it goes it's really really nice it does need a, a bit of a boot or rudder to get it around but um, just straying a little bit left 150 knots 170 and there it goes, it just picks up the nose and climbs away. Coming up past the, uh, the International Terminal, which I will be in about a month from making this video or so. I'm going to take off and uh, go around the countryside a little bit. Let's get our flaps up, I think we can have those all the way up. We're probably climbing like a rocket. Very powerful aren't they, these things. Get those four big massive engines sitting out there. So 2,000. Let's get the nose down a little bit. Doesn't like the fact that I'm going a little bit slow on the frame rates, which is uh, that's okay. It's still surprisingly smooth. You know, I'm seeing actually I'm only seeing 15 and 17 with the odd drop back from there as well at the moment. So, uh, but it still rolls nicely. No, it's still nice. A bit of left rudder as you roll left, and a bit of right rudder as you roll right. And it rolls really nicely. Let's get leveled up. And, uh, and let's head, us, head around to the left a little bit here. Try not to make the passengers sick as we go around. Isn't it big? Spent a lot of time on these things. It's probably fairly one of the most comfortable jets that I've been on. Certainly, um, but the most uncomfortable was the Triple Seven when it first when it first came out. When someone decided to put that stupid headrest that pushed your head down into your chest, but uh, they fixed that quick because everybody just pulled them out. But the Seven Four Seven, I've done a lot of trips, mainly from Asia, but I've flown from Australia to the UK with uh, with British Airways. That was. Uh, Pretty good flight. It was a bit, bit of a raucous flight with uh, it's about 40 or so Aussies all going on course with British Air Aerospace back then before we all headed out to the Middle East to work. Um, good times, good times back then. Let's roll this, roll this out. And we're going to get better frame rates as we get away from the terrain. And uh, we'll head out over the sea. So what do we gain this year with uh, X-Plane 11? We've, we've done very well. We started off the year with um, getting VR, which was um, uh, still something I need to experience in its current form. I'm, I'm pretty excited that I might get a chance to do that, but that's still a little time away. We need to trim this nose down a bit, don't we? Climbing very well. Uh, flaps are all the ways up. Yep, power back a little bit more. If I had done this more, I would know what my power setting should be, but I don't. So we'll just do that. We'll try and trim it up. Now, what have we got? So flight modeling, we've got a whole range of stuff. We've had the side force, 
uh, been updated so we now feel the side forces on the aircraft a little bit more that was really surprising when it first came out but once you've been flying for a while you just sort of get used to it like most things uh, but very good um, ground effects with your rotors for your helicopter guys out there we've had um, the post stall we've had a, a bit of wing effects there but you actually have to stall before you find out uh, what those effects are so I haven't done, well, I like to spin stuff, but I'm not going to do it in a big 747, it's probably a bit dumb. Uh, prop, wash, and uh, and prop propeller modelling have been updated quite a bit. Um, there's been a lot of work done there. Jet refinements in the N1, N2 are now linked, uh, I believe, correctly. So um, the performance there is a lot better than it used to be. Uh, gliders, um, if you fly gliders... Um, you have some more towing options now. We'll just do a little right turn. And we might go back past the city and come back around again. And come back and land again from uh, past the city. So it's a nice place to come in. I'm going to maintain this. And it's just looking. The angle here is just about perfect if you hold it on the horizon at the moment. to uh, Just to maintain that... Uh, that bank angle and I'm just looking to see if there's any side slip the normally you'd get side slip here um, it would show you if you're if you're out at all so uh, now we're looking back towards Parafield Airport so let's head back to the mountains or back to the hills and then we'll come back into uh, Adelaide International Airport again after a quick jolly around other things that we've got this year well tow brakes got fixed here in the 747 um, that was something that was apparently providing some issues for people um, and gyro and vacuum systems and oxygen as well are uh, some of the other things that have been um, uh, modeled better or they've had their improvements to bring them up to make them more realistic and that's what we want next plane 11 isn't it we want lots of realism as much as possible Someone needs to tell me what that yellow thing is. Maybe I am flying too slow. Let's get the power up. And that uh, yellow thing might go away. There we go. Yeah, it doesn't like it. I'm out of, out of config, no doubt. Let's have a look out. Did I remember to put my gear up and everything? Yep. It's all looking pretty good. Adelaide looks really nice in the new ortho. And that's another one that's another thing that's been updated as well. If you if you like to do your own ortho scenery, um, the ortho uh, for XP is now at 11.30, which uh, I think that's the right number. Um, now models uh, the runways a lot better. So if they're not absolutely flat, which they tend to be a lot of the time, um, but I have to say not always, then uh, you're going to get the undulations in the runways, which is uh, going to make those a little bit more realistic. Coming over the left here. These are all salt flats. There's a big highway going in here currently. We have, um, that is Adelaide Air Force Base just there. And we have, uh, I think a little bit further around, we might have uh, Parafield Airport. Let's have a look. Where are we? coming back in. Make sure we don't get too high because I want to get back down fairly quickly. I don't want to keep you guys uh, away from your own simming for too long, but thanks for joining me. And, and as always, if you happen to be new here and you uh, you haven't subscribed, please feel free to hit that subscribe button. We're uh, getting really close to 800 subscribers on this baby channel that it is, and uh, we'd love to see us hit the... Oh, let's get down. We're a bit high. Uh, we'd love to see if we can get uh, towards a thousand or more in the next couple of months so yeah you know share the channel around share it with your friends if you like what you see um, i have a lot of fun doing this i hope you have a lot of fun watching it as well and we're coming up to new year as well so it's uh 2018 december a couple of days before new year so, so I'm trying to get this video out you guys I've managed to um, break the previous one because I left the uh, microphone plugged in on my um, 
it's getting very very sloppy isn't it it's going is that just a speed thing I think it might be let's get a bit faster it's not flying very well it's uh, it's wallowing around a little and we're getting a bit of altitude as well which we don't need so let's get back down yeah are uh, the the mic on the camera was, um, was as it was plugged in was recording and I was getting a uh, an echo so if you guys that suffered some of that my apologies but uh, this is why we're doing a new one of these again so we should be able to turn right pretty soon and head down towards uh, the Modbury um, VOR which will be over to the right just a little I'll take a, a turn that way it just needs a little rudder yeah that rudder makes it just a, a lot better and there's been some work on the reverse thrust as well um, being that my Cessnas and Robins and Lancairs don't have reverse thrust not something I've experienced but uh, apparently there were some issues with that which have now been resolved as well so it's just been a lot and what have we got to look forward to next year well we've certainly got uh, Vulcan uh, on its way so looking forward to seeing that and uh, seeing maybe some performance uh, increases um, I don't expect to see too much on my system but if you have a more modern system and hopefully by the time it comes out I will as well uh, then you should be seeing some better overall core performance with it being able to use both the GPU and um, I think it allows more better usage of your cores on your processor as well so um, but every little bit of performance that we can get is good especially if it doesn't cost us uh, an enormous amount of, amount of money to get it anybody out there buying RAM or video cards at the moment um, it's, uh, the video cards seem to have got a little better it will have some flat and some slats set as we're heading back in I'm just trying to spot the, the airport I know the airport's probably a little bit to the left I think I know where it is <laughs> cruising let's get some more flat down and 220 is probably okay we'll have some gear that'll bring the speed down a little bit without modifying anything else so I hope you guys have all had a really great year with uh, X-Plane and flying and in life in general. Wish you all uh, a really fantastic 2019. Hope that works out well for you. And if you happen to be watching this late in 2019 and you've discovered the channel, um, then I hope you've had a good year as well. So let's think ahead. Coming in. Yeah, this is a bit of fun. It's, it's certainly a challenge. Landing this thing is... Uh, is a bit of a challenge let's get the power back I'm going to be back at about 160 knots apparently a little bit of left rudder to help me with this roll because it doesn't want to go and uh, we do need to descend quite a bit coming over the top of uh, North Adelaide lots of nice restaurants down here guys <laughs> along this street here O'Connell Street coming to there power right off going a little bit further left a little bit more left rudder as I roll left that makes such a difference don't notice it so much in the small stuff but you certainly need it here and uh, I need to dive down because I need to get lower it's not the best flying I'm sure it looks a lot nicer when you guys use your ILS's and, and cruising a lot of full, full stick deflection happening here. Let's get the nose up a little bit. Hopefully I can get it down uh, and not overrun the runway. Where are we speed was? Two, 250, boy. Need some brakes. Brakes, 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 brakes. Come on, here we go. Slow down, I'm way, way too fast. This is something you'd see in a movie. Coming in low. way too quick 200 knots it's not going to be good 
Let's see if we can get stopped. I'm getting the feet on the brakes. Here we go, there we go. Level it up, level it up, level it up, level it up. Yeah, let's get it on the ground. Brakes, 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 left. Left rudder. Right Try not to get too much. Right stick. Let's get ourselves stopped. Come on, good girl. Stop for me. Stop for me. <laughs> that is the worst landing I have done so far. <laughs> Brakes, 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 brakes. Gonna make it? Gonna make it. Yeah! Oh god, that was a little close. Uh, everybody's entitled to a stiff drink after that one. That was the worst landing I've done. I've done about four flights in here trying to get this video sorted out. I've had a couple of little issues as time goes on, as you do when you make videos. So, uh, for now, I think. Um, we've had enough so again remember if you haven't subscribed please feel free to come visit letsflyvfr.com if you're uh, just looking for some information where I'm slowly building that up and getting some information there and uh, if you're looking to buy anything and you'd like to support the channel um, I have a whole range of stuff there that's linked to Amazon i have got an Amazon affiliate account there so uh, it doesn't cost you any more but you can help the channel uh, a great deal just by purchasing something you already want I'm not comfortable with the whole patreon thing give me money for for nothing I think if you can buy something that you would like and you're happy to buy it through uh, any of the links because there will be more I'm going to grow that and I will have a new egg and I'll have anybody else that's got an affiliate program where we can benefit by cheaper prices no matter where you are around the world so until next time I will catch you back here at let's fly VFR and let's fly bfr.com have a really great year enjoy your flying and see you again soon